Now we'll talk about plotting points in two dimensions. And in this case, we'll be given the coordinates of a point, and we need to plot that point in the xy plane. And we'll work through several examples here. And these are pretty easy. In the first example on this page, we're told to plot the point 5, 1. So 5, 1 is the point. And this is an ordered pair. So we know that 5 is our x value, and 1 is the y value. It's always x first and then y. So let's start here at the origin and go in the x direction, that's this way, 5 units. So we can just count on the grid here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we go in the y direction, 1 unit. So we go up 1. And that puts us at this point right here. This point is the point 5, 1. Next, we're told to plot the point negative 3, 2. So we need to go to the left, 3. So starting right here, and don't count that as 1. Remember, the origin is 0. Some people count right here, and they count 0, 1, 2. And they end up, or, or they, if, they, if you start counting right here with 1, if you count 1, 2, 3, you end up with the incorrect position. The origin here is 0. So from there, we go to the left, 1, 2, 3. That's 3 in the negative x direction, which is to the left. And then my y coordinates are 2 in the positive direction. So 1, 2 puts me to right here. This point right there is the point negative 3, comma, 2. Next, we're told to plot the point negative 4, negative 2. So we start here and we go to the left 4. And remember, don't count this as 1. That's your 0 position. Then we count 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left, and 2 down. So it puts us right here at this point. This is the point negative 4, comma, 2. And then we're told to plot the point 2, comma, negative 5. So from the origin, we go to the right 2 or you could count 1, 2, and from the origin we go down 5. The y value is negative, negative y is that way. So we go in that direction, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that corresponds to this point right here. This is the point 2, negative 5. And here we're told to plot and label the following points. And each point is given a name as a letter. And it's very common to name points using capital letters like this, P, Q, R, and S in this case. So let's plot these. Point P is the point 2, comma, 7. So from the origin, we'll go to the right 2. And from the origin, we'll go up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that puts it to this point. And you can see that corresponds to an x value of 2 and a y value up here of 7. And we were told to label it, so we just write a little p next to it to indicate that that point is point p. Point q is at the position negative 3, so that's my x. I come over to negative 3, and my y values go up to 9. So that's going to put me... at this point right here. That's point Q. So I'll label that. And you've seen me draw these little dotted lines in here just to kind of help me visually find that point. And it's okay to do that, and it's okay to leave them there. They don't hurt anything. And then point R here is the point negative 5, negative 1. So from the origin, I need to come over 5 to the left. That puts me at that position. And then I go 1, down in the negative y direction. So that puts me right here. You can see that this point corresponds to the point negative 5 on the x-axis and negative 1 on the y-axis. So that is point R. And then point S is the point 0, negative 3. So that 0 there is my x and the negative 3 is y. And when you see the x is 0, that means we don't move left or right at all we only move 3 in the y direction. So we come down 1, 2, 3 to this point right here. 
and I'll put a dot there, and that is point S. So there's points P, Q, R, and S plotted in the coordinate plane. And one more example. We're told to plot and label the following points. Point A is negative 4, negative 1. So from the origin we go 4 to the left and 1 down. So that's point A right there. Point B is 8, 0. So x is 8, so from the origin we go to the right 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That puts us right here. And we don't go up or down any at all because the y coordinate is 0. So point B is right there on the x-axis. And then point C, we're told is 2, negative 2. So that's 2 to the right and then 2 down. So that puts us at this point right here. That's point C. And then we're told here, draw the line segment connecting the points negative 3, 2 and 3, 4. So negative 3 is an x value and that 2 is a y value. So negative 3 to the left is right there and then 2 in the y direction is 2 above the origin. That puts me at this point right there. So that's the point negative 3, 2. And we're trying to connect the points negative 3, 2 and 3, 4. So again, this is an x and that's a y. So 3 is my x. I go 3 to the right and then that puts me at this position over to the right from the origin and then I go 4 up from the origin. That puts me at this position. So the, the point 3, 4 is right here. So I'll make both of these points blue to match the color down here. And I'm told to draw the line segment connecting those points. So I'll just draw that in. And you can pull out a ruler if you want to and make that nice and straight. A line segment in theory is perfectly straight. So there it is. We plotted the points and labeled them as we were told and we drew the line segment connecting the given points.